this is exciting. Okay, first time doing this on YouTube, there's nobody here yet, but it's good practice. And I'm hoping people will join. Next time I should definitely publicize it in advance. Oh, there's somebody here. Hi, hello. You're the first and only person here so far on my first ever live stream with YouTube. If you can go ahead and write your name in the chat or put your Instagram handle, so hopefully I will recognize you. Oh, you disappeared. Okay, we'll just wait for somebody else. I have a lot of expressions I'm excited to teach. Just wait and see if more people join. I'm gonna double check on Instagram to see if it's going out. Gonna keep watching that number. Okay, it was only seen by Veronica. I might need to wait for a moment. Oh, come back. <laughs> Definitely new. See what happens if I click that link. Huh. There I am. Ha <laughs> Hoping people will join. <laughs> it's just me. Hmm. It's definitely just me. Aha, uh -huh, there's somebody here. Hello? Hello? It's just you and me. This was my first time doing this. So it's mostly a practice, but I do have expressions I want to share. So if you can write your name in the comments or tell me your Instagram name, I'm guessing you probably found me through Instagram. If you could write in the comments, that helps me learn how that works. Oh, you left. Okay. I'm going to wait. This is an adventure. Oh, come on. Come back. Come back. Um, let me see. Nobody's seen the video yet. Can I just wait? Only one person seen it. Okay, eight people have seen it. Ah, Behrman, you should join. Hello? Okay, I'm checking it. The eight people who have seen. Hello, Yusuf. Hopefully I'm saying that correct. I think you can write that you can't join me, which is a little different than Instagram, but I'm exploring new options. So I'm glad you're here. Can you write in the comments if you follow me on Instagram? I'm checking the people that like the story really quick. I don't see you on here. So I'm trying to learn how you found me here on Instagram. And I do have some expressions I want to teach in just a moment. I have my list right here. Um, so Yusuf, if you can, if you can write in the comments, if you saw it in the story on Instagram, or if you follow me on YouTube and saw the notification, you're helping me learn learn how to go live on YouTube. Okay, that's great. That's great. I recognize your name, I think. I'm pretty sure. But I did not see you as one of the people that saw the story in Instagram. So I was confused. Okay. 
where you and I can practice. Oh, now there are two people. That's exciting. So there are three of us total, but it is my first time doing a live on YouTube. I did not plan it. I just got the idea and thought, I'm going to try it because maybe it will be a really good way to practice. So let's do some favorite expressions. And then if you have a favorite expression, you can type it in the comments and ask me a question. I can also help with pronunciation. If you saw my video today, the way we pronounce words, especially in common expressions, is very different than what you see um, if you're just reading it on paper. So the one that I posted today on Instagram is what you doing? What you doing? It's a personal favorite. I say it all the time. It's what are you? And then an action with ing. So you hear whatcha. Whatcha? Whatcha doing? That's the most common way, but also whatcha up to? That's another really good expression. Whatcha up to? I'm going to write it. What are you up to? Sounds like whatcha up to just means what are you doing? Hey, whatcha up to? So maybe it's just you and me, Yusuf. Can you write in the comments and tell me what you're up to? Can you answer the question? For example, I'm listening to you, or I'm reading a book, I'm writing a paper, I'm cooking, for example. What you up to? That's one of my favorite expressions. Okay. And if you just joined us, hello, welcome. If you can write your name in the comments, we're a very small group. This is my first time doing a live on YouTube. So it's a new experience, but I'm always looking for new ways to teach and maybe reach more people. Okay, you said, like, what are you talking about? Um, not exactly. It means, what are you doing? what are you doing? So for example, if I say to you, hey, what's up to? That means, what are you doing right now in this moment? So if you ask me, hey, Cynthia, what's you up to? Oh, I'm teaching a little lesson on YouTube for the first time. It's very fun. Yeah? Will you give a thumbs up in the comments if that makes sense? Hopefully. Okay, I'm going to do another one. This is also super common. It's a phrasal verb, and we say to head out. So head out. That means to leave from one place and go out somewhere. So when I left my house this morning, my friend said, hey, Cynthia, where are you going? And I said, I'm heading out to the store. It's like I'm going to the store. The idea is like your head is first, so it's like you're leaving first, you're heading out. So I'm going to also type that in the comments. I'm heading out or I'm heading out and you can add the, the place. I'm heading out to the store, I'm heading out to work, I'm heading out to the gym, etc. Okay, good. Yusuf, I'm glad you got the first one. If you're the other two people that joined us, if you can write your name in the comments, that would be great. I'm guessing everybody knows me from Instagram, but maybe a short, a short introduction. My name is Cynthia. I've been a teacher for more than 20 years, and this is my first time doing a live on YouTube. So I've been trying to use YouTube more. I still do Instagram every day, but you can also find me here for more lessons like this and more longer videos. Okay, sweet. Okay, thumbs up. That's cool. I like that. Um, let's do another one. Um, the what chat to we did a really really common one that's just I literally say it probably ten times a day is 
would you mind, and then a verb with ing. It's when you need help from somebody. Would you mind helping me? Would you mind getting that for me? Would you mind explaining that again? So I'm going to write an example in the comments. Would you mind explaining that again? So hopefully if you're at home or on your phone, on a bus, wherever you're saying these expressions out loud, that's definitely super helpful. Would you mind explaining that again? So maybe somebody can write another example. Would you mind? Would you mind helping me? Um, would you mind turning down the heat or turning down the music? Maybe there's music and it's really loud. And it's really important in English that we are polite. It's part of our culture and part of the language. Normally, we do not say, hey, turn down the music unless you're a parent. But normally we say, hey, would you mind? Would you mind turning down the music or turning down the volume? It's a good example. Anybody out there want to try an example? Maybe, just maybe. Okay, we'll go to the next one. Um, oh, I have a list. One that I really like, I posted a couple weeks ago. Um, I posted a couple weeks ago on Instagram. I'm going to share in just a moment, but I saw your comment. I am writing these down on the paper. Okay, that's excellent. That's a perfect sentence. Would you mind lend? So you need the ing. Would you mind lending me the book? That's perfect. So I'm going to write the correction in the notes. Lending. Would you mind lending me the book? And actually, let's do another form of this phrase. So would you mind an ING is when you are speaking and you want another person to do something for you. But if you want permission to do something and you're asking the person for permission, the grammar is different. So I'm going to write an example. I say, would you mind if I turn up the volume. So for example, real story that people don't know about me. I have a little problem with hearing. So sometimes if I'm watching a movie with my friends in the living room, sometimes I will say, hey, would you mind if, if I, so notice the subject, if I turn up the volume? That means is it okay with you if I do something? So notice how the grammar is different. In the first example with ing, I want you to do something. In the second example, I'm asking you for permission. I'm asking you if it's okay if I do something. Can you give a thumbs up if that makes sense? I'll just wait for a moment. Or if you wanna try an example, that would be great. I saw in here I can create a poll. I'm gonna try it really quick. I'm gonna try it right now. Does this expression make sense? Okay, I'm gonna throw it out there and I'm hoping everybody can respond on the poll. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, super. And I'm just a small correction. You would say, it makes sense because S, because it's singular. With the question, it's a little different because of does, but with the answer, it makes sense. Awesome. If you could also respond in the poll, that helps me just to know how it works. I really am learning more about YouTube so that I can use it more to teach. And it's a little different than it is on Instagram. I'm hoping to learn how to share my screen. I can't do that right now. I need to get some software. Um, I can't do that on Instagram. So perfect. Okay. Yes. hundred percent of you. I think that's just you, Yusuf. Do you want to do another one? Yeah. Um, here's one that I also did recently on Instagram, but it's so important. It's good to repeat. If we say that something is up in the air, 
Do you remember that expression? Up in the air. Oh, no worries. Take your time. Thank you for participating. I'll give you a moment. I'm going, while you write, I'm going to write this expression and say, my plans are up in the air. Up, up in the air. <laughs> if something is up in the air, it's an expression to mean we don't know. It's undecided at this time. So for example, if you say, hey, are you going to go live tomorrow? I will say, I don't know yet. My plans are up in the air. Make sense? I'm going to end our first poll. I'm hoping our other two people who are listening right now will jump on the comments. Yeah. And share a little about if the expressions make sense, if you have any questions, I can do more examples too. I love that it's so easy to chat. This is a little different than an Instagram. Okay, so can one of you write an example with up in the air? The most common is my plans are up in the air, but you can also use it in different sentences. So if you want to try it, we could take a moment right now while I get my computer exactly how I want it. You'll also notice I'm on my super comfortable chair. Maybe you remember the video I did with spin and I spun around in circles. It was very fun. Okay, what did you say? Similar to the expression, I will put the plan on the back of the oven. I think that's an expression, or maybe you're thinking of something else. I will put it on the back of the oven. I feel like, yes, that's an expression, but it's not one that I personally use. It's very possible. Oh, the back burner. That's on the back burner. That's how I say it. It's possible that it's different. Like if you learned British English, it's very possible. But I'm going to write it and then explain the difference. Um, that's on the back burner. So the burner is like if, if you get the oven and then the stove is on the top, the back burner is the, the circle thing that gets really hot. That's the burner. So the back burner is the farthest away. So if you say something is on the back burner, that means it's waiting. So that's similar to up in the air. They're a little different because up in the air means you really don't know. You don't know what you're going to do. If something's on the back burner, you're simply waiting to do that. For example, somebody says, hey, are you going to have group classes for English Unite? I can say, yes, but it's on the back burner for now. I know I'm going to do it, but I need to plan it. So it's on the back burner. Okay, let's see. Two others. One is, I'm a little torn, a little torn. I'm going to show you an example. This is a napkin and you tear it. Tear is the action. Torn is the description. It's also called a past participle. Ay, ay, ay. That's a lot of grammar. That means you can say, I have torn the napkin. But it's also the description form. So I am torn. I'm a little torn. Imagine this is you. And Part of you wants to keep learning English. Part of you is like, I don't know, it's so much work. You can say, I'm a little torn. Like it's pulling you this direction and it's pulling you this direction. Does that make sense? I'm a little torn. Let me write that. I'm a little torn. I'm not sure if I should, another example, stay at my job or look for a new one, yeah? So maybe you have a job that's okay and there are good things about it, 
but you're thinking, I don't know, I feel pulled to go this direction and maybe get a different job, but part of me wants to stay at that job. I'm a little torn. Okay, we're gonna do one more. Hopefully you're ready. This is one that's so common. It's so common. I say it all the time and I see it. My friends who are native speakers and non-native speakers write it all the time. And that's to hold on something. Okay, but before I explain, I'm going to hold for one moment and read your comment. May I help? Yeah. Do you tend to get any help? I don't know. That's up in the air for the moment. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. The, the, well, exactly. Yes. Grammatically is all correct, but I will make a small change. If you say, do you tend to get any help? If you said, do you want to get any help? Or are you going to get any help? That means like right now or in the future. So that specific is up in the air. If you say, do you tend to get any help? It's a good word, tend to get something. But that means it's more of a habitual repeated action. So probably we would not say that with up in the air, but it's okay. So it's a good starting example. Okay. So this last one, I'm going to type it and then talk about an example to hold or to hold on something slash doing something. So we have grammatically multiple ways we can say this that all mean the same thing. So for example, if I say, hey, to my, to my daughter, hey, let's hold. If you hold your phone, it's like this. So if you hold on an activity, you, you stop. It's like, you're not putting it down, you're not forgetting it, but you're just simply stopping. So if you say, let's hold on going for a run, it's raining outside. So let's just stop for right now. Maybe in the future we will do it, maybe not. So I can say, let's hold, let's hold on running, let's hold on any any specific activity you want. Let's do that. Let's hold on running. It's raining right now. I can also say, or if we do a conversation, I'm going to write this one. Person A says, do you want a piece of pizza? And I can say, I'll say, Ow, oh, sorry, I'm typing a B and every time it automatically changes to a smiley face with sunglasses. So weird, I didn't know you could do that. So I don't know how to type a B. Like impossible. <laughs> That's really funny. Um, I just can't do that, this thing, the parentheses, B. Let's try something else. I'll do the colon. Okay, and B says, I'll hold. I'm really full. <laughs> but thanks. Hopefully that makes sense. Hey, you want a piece of pizza? Mm, I'll hold. That means I won't do that. Maybe later I'll have a piece of pizza. But for now, no pizza. So let me send that message really quick. And give you a moment to read it. And now if you want to take a moment and write an example, that would be awesome. Yeah. These are really common expressions. So I would recommend that you go back and scroll down on my Instagram page to find more examples. These exact examples and others that are similar. And also if you can send me a message on WhatsApp and a direct message and say, hey, this is Yusuf from your YouTube live, then I will remember your Instagram name and connect it with today. That helps me learn since there are a lot of you on Instagram. Um, but thank you for following 
both here and on Instagram. Oh, look, our other friend wrote something, but I don't know what that is. V-U-N-R-E-N-T. I'm hoping this is a real person. Sometimes on YouTube, exactly like on Instagram, um, you get spammed and people who are not people show up in the comments. So Robert Simmons, if you're a real person, can you please write in the comments? I'm thinking maybe not. That's very possible. Yeah. It's maybe just you and me, Yusuf. Maybe just you and me. I don't think the other person really existed. Okay. So thank you for joining me here. It definitely was an experiment and it helps me learn, but um, you know, I have to see what it looks like on camera, if I feel clear, um, a scary amount. No, it's true. So listen, so like a year ago, I started YouTube. I almost never used it, but I got multiple comments that were similar with like letters and numbers. And then also Robert Simmons is a very American name. And probably if you're from the United States, you're not going to be watching this channel because you already speak English as a first language. Um, but thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Next time, maybe, I will advertise on Instagram that I'm going to do this, but it will always show an announcement. Actually, I don't know. Maybe you can tell me, maybe you can write me on Instagram and tell me if you got a notification from YouTube that I was going live. If so, if you can tell me how you set your notification, that would be awesome. Yeah. And send me a message. I'm going to send you, uh, send me a message and send me your email. I'm going to send you a free roadmap. So if you look, if you take the link in the bio and click learning roadmap, I'm going to send that to you. It's digital and it will be my gift to you for being my very first student on YouTube live. Are there specific days you go live? No, not yet, but maybe in the future. Yeah. Um, first, I need to have more people on YouTube. So if you have friends or want to share about today's live or even take a picture and share it on your Instagram page and invite people to follow on YouTube, once I have more people, then I will spend more time doing this. But my time during the day is limited. I teach some. That's my job. I have to make some money. Um, Obviously, everything on YouTube and Instagram is free, but it's a lot of videos and editing. and It's super fun, and I love it, but I also want to find new ways to connect with people. Um, but send me your email. I'm going to send you a free gift. I think you'll really like it. Okay, good to be with you here. Um, use these expressions. If you could take a moment and like and comment on some of the videos in YouTube, that would really help. Send it to all your friends. And I will see you in the next YouTube live stream. Take care. Okay, bye-bye.